Chapter 5, Learning Objective 2. Analyze and record purchase transactions for a merchandiser. A company's operating cycle includes purchases on account or on credit. Here's the purchase and payment portion of the operating cycle. When merchandise inventory is purchased, typically on account, which means there are some payment terms like 15 or 30 days, the cost is recorded in a merchandise inventory general ledger account, and a liability is created called accounts payable. At some point in time, a cash payment is made to the supplier, which could be before or after the inventory is actually sold. Ideally, you want to sell your inventory quickly so you can generate the cash necessary to pay down the account payable. Going back to our Excel car example where the vehicle purchased on account by Excel was for $3,000. The journal entry to record this transaction would include a debit or increase to merchandise inventory and a credit or increase to accounts payable. In addition to the purchase of merchandise inventory, there are other activities that affect the merchandise inventory account that can include merchandise that's returned to a supplier or damaged in transit, or discounts earned for prompt cash payment, which both result in the reduction of amounts due to the supplier and the cost of inventory. There may also be transportation and handling costs that are necessary to have the inventory available and prepared for sale. All of these costs are included in the merchandise inventory account. Let's start by talking about purchase returns and allowances. Assume that the vehicle purchased by Excel turned out to be the wrong color. The supplier was contacted and agreed to reduce the price by $300 to $2,700. This is an example of a purchase return and allowance adjustment that would be recorded with an entry that looks like this. We would decrease or debit the accounts payable by $300 and decrease or credit the merchandise inventory account. This results in the cost of the vehicle to Excel now being reduced to $2,700 and that's how much is to be paid to the supplier. The perpetual inventory system records changes in the merchandise inventory account each time a relevant transaction occurs. Purchase discounts affect the purchase price of merchandise if payment is made within a time period specified on the supplier's invoice. For example, if the terms on the $3,000 invoice for one vehicle received by Excel indicates 1 slash 15 and 45, this means that the $3,000 must be paid within 45 days, or N equals net. If cash payment is made by Excel within 15 days though, the purchase price will be reduced by 1%. Assuming the amount is paid within 15 days, the supplier's terms entitle Excel to deduct $27, calculated as $3,000 minus the $300 allowance, or $2,700, times 1% and we would make that adjustment with a journal entry that debits or decreases accounts payable for the full amount due of $2,700, credits the merchandise inventory account to apply the discount of $27 as a further reduction of the vehicle's cost, and for journal entry debits and credits to balance, we would credit or decrease cash for $2,763. This should make sense because the original invoice was for $3,000, we received a purchase allowance of $300 and then an early payment discount of $27. The cost of the vehicle sitting inventory is now $2,673. If, however, Excel pays the supplier after the discount period, they basically forfeit the discount and will have to pay the full amount owing of $2,700. Thus, in the payment entry, there's still a debit to accounts payable of $2,700 but this time no early payment discount, which means $2,700 of cash must be paid to settle the liability, and the inventory value of the car is $2,700. Trade discounts are similar to purchase discounts. Trade discounts are given by suppliers to merchandisers that buy in large quantities of goods. For example, assume a supplier offers a 10% trade discount on purchases of 1,000 units or more, where the list price is $1 per unit. For example, if Beta Merchandiser Corp buys 1,000 units on account, the entry in Beta's records would include a debit or increase to merchandise inventory of only $900, calculated as the $1,000 list purchase cost less the 10% or $100 trade discount. Our entry includes a corresponding debit or increase to accounts payable. Note the net amount, which is the list price less the trade discount, is the amount that's recorded. Now let's talk about transportation costs. 
The cost to transport goods from the supplier to the seller must also be considered when recording the cost of merchandise inventory to ensure that our inventory is properly costed at what we often call its full or landed cost. The shipping terms on the invoice identify the point at which ownership of the inventory transfers from the supplier to the purchaser. With FOB shipping point, ownership transfers at the shipping point so the purchaser is responsible for the transportation costs. In this case, if you purchase the product from me, that product belongs to you as soon as it leaves my warehouse, even though you actually haven't received it yet, and you have to pay all the shipping costs. You would call that product inventory in transit because it's on the way. Under FOB destination, this indicates that the ownership transfers at the destination point, so the seller is responsible for the transportation costs. In this case, if you purchase the product from me, I'm responsible for paying the shipping costs, and it still belongs to me until it arrives and is received at your warehouse. FOB is an abbreviation for free on board, it is an old shipping term. Assume that Excel supplier sells with terms of FOB shipping point, indicating that the transportation costs are Excel's responsibility. If the shipping cost is $125 and this amount was paid in cash to the truck driver at the time of delivery, the entry would include a debit to merchandise inventory to increase the cost of the car by $125 and a credit or decrease to cash. The cost of the vehicle in Excel's merchandise inventory account is now $2,798, calculated as the original $3,000 cost, minus the $300 purchase allowance, minus the $27 early payment discount, plus the $125 shipping cost. It's also important to note that Excel's transportation costs to deliver goods to customers are recorded as delivery expenses and do not affect the merchandise inventory account.